What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing, lagging or freezing issue you're currently having with Rainbow Six Siege. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of, or your bottom corner of your screen, you're gonna right click, hit taskbar to open it up or simply use the shortcut for that. You're gonna navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes and once you click processes, I want you, I don't know, it's gonna sound weird guys, to end every single task, but it will help you a lot. So two reasons for that. First of all, too many applications, too many background processes, too many programs or too many games running at the same time in a low end or bad PC will cause crashing, lagging or freezing on the long term. And the second reason, like it was from me, there are some applications, some background processes, don't ask me why they're doing that, but they are third party in your game, causing it to crash or to freeze in some way. And once you finish with that, so ending every single task, you should be able to end the task manager again and search for an empty spot onto your desktop. You're gonna right click and hit display settings nearly at the bottom. Um, you're gonna hit display just to ensure that you're sticking around it. Afterwards, you need to identify which your main monitor is. Obviously, this just applies if you have more than one. Scroll down, hit scale and layout and change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in-game. So for example, if you have an in-game 1720 by 1070, also want you to apply this for your display resolution. So once you're finished with that, I want you to end this task again. Navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click into the Windows symbol, open up your settings, hit update and security and stick around Windows update. And I know guys, it's going to sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single drive you could possibly update on your PC will help you a lot of every kind of issue you're currently having and also with crashing, lagging or freezing. So download the latest version of Windows and once you're finished with that, simply end this task. And do the same thing for a graphics card driver. So download the latest version of a driver by just simply hitting the application or the browser and provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. That's it for the video guys. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.